Item Number SCP-7025 Object Class Euclid Level 1-NAGL Confidential Special Containment Procedures All Foundation personnel within the North American Great Lakes region must make every effort to remain at least 100 meters away from any active bus used in mass transit. The Department of Analytics provides real-time forecasting and monitoring of bus locations and trajectories to assist personnel in bus avoidance. The Site Director's Committee for the North American Great Lakes region has suspended all off-site leave for essential personnel within the region. At the request of the Overseer Council, the Rockefeller Foundation has begun a political lobbying campaign aimed at eliminating or replacing public bus routes within the affected area. Description. SCP-7025 is a statistical anomaly affecting the North American Great Lakes operational region. Foundation personnel within this region are significantly more likely to be killed by a bus. Bus-related fatalities among civilians in the affected region account for approximately 1 in 50,000 deaths each year. Among Foundation personnel in the region, buses are responsible for 1 out of 50 deaths. This trend was first observed in 1997, when buses were the leading cause of death among all Foundation employees, with 56 personnel killed. The adoption of current containment procedures has reduced, but not eliminated, the rate at which Foundation personnel are killed by buses. To date, no detectable force, phenomenon, or entity has been identified as the source of SCP-7025. Buses involved in personnel deaths display no anomalous effects, and the ultimate causes of fatal incidents are purely mundane. Observation of testing has shown that the risk to personnel from inactive and inert buses is minimal. However, personnel in close proximity to a bus in motion will almost certainly be killed. The following is a table of notable and novel deaths attributable to SCP-7025. Decedent, Employment Position, Manner of Death Edric Hibbert, Senior Researcher Struck and killed by a school bus while crossing the street. The bus experienced brake failure, which was ultimately attributed to a manufacturing defect. Variations on this incident are the most common occurrence of SCP-7025. Richard Howell, Security Officer hit by a piece of flying debris while watching a figure 8 school bus race. Denver Garland, maintenance technician, choked to death on a bagel after the bus he was riding collided with a moose. Bruno Amundsen, janitor, slipped and fell on a patch of ice while attempting to board a bus. Victor Van Lorn, assistant director, an off-duty bus crashed through the wall of his home. The driver was severely intoxicated. Jade Marchand, Administrative Assistant, one of 17 passengers killed when the bus she was riding careened off a bridge, landing directly on top of a swimmer in the river below. Five other passengers were also Foundation employees. Victoria Brassington, Staff Physician, crushed by a falling bus while swimming. Joseph Sutton, Task Force Agent. During a dive to investigate the bus that killed Dr. Brassington, became entangled in the wreckage and drowned. Cleve McKinley, field agent, carbon monoxide poisoning suffered during a stakeout of a bus depot while investigating SCP-7025. Simon Buchanan, containment supervisor, SCP-7025, suffered a heart attack after being startled by the sound of a bus engine backfiring. Norena Calabrese, logistics driver, emulated by an exploding bus.